That's the only thing I remember when they took Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that shit fucked me. Uh, what? <laughs> Nice! Shouldn't have opened this. I don't really know what this is, but you know what? We're using it to mop this shit up. <laughs> What's that? What the fuck? Oh, God. <laughs> it's a for, me, for the rest of my life. <laughs> What is up my dudes and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you guys that I think is a cool update on a video, actually my most popular video that has gone up on this channel that I made about three years ago, which is how to stick and poke tattoo. So I actually got sent this um, from a company. I'm not sponsored or anything like that to say anything. They wanted me to review this kit. I got it a while ago. Or I really haven't had any inclination to want to do another stick and poke tattoo. Recently but I did stick and poke using this kit over the summer and so this is what it looks like as you can tell it has original stick and poke tattoo kit or you can go online to www.stickandpoketattookit.com and they do sell these basically it is a full sterilized kit to stick and poke tattoo yourself so all those people who commented in my last video about how I was unsanitary and it was gross and I could buy tattoo needles offline, I got them, ho, okay? I'm about to tell you what's in this kit and I'm about to tell you how I feel about it, okay? They asked me what color ink I wanted to get sent. So I got four colors um, just to try. These are just ones that I was interested in. I got black, normal black ink, purple, called deco pink. There's two different colors, deco pink. Oh, this one is navy blue. Um, and then the colors I used on myself were black and navy. I'm just gonna get into this review. Um, so if you guys want to buy a stick and poke kit, um, since mine came with more colors, I'll tell you what's in a basic kit. What they give you in a basic kit is four needles that are completely sterile. I'll open this up and show you. Basically they come like this in sterilized packaging. It basically tells you the sterilized date and then the um, expiration date. I didn't know that there were expiration dates on sterilized needles. It's probably pretty important. So you get four of these to stick and poke with. In a basic kit, they give you a three round liner, a five round liner, a seven round liner, and a five round shader. I'm assuming that is um, the size of the needle. Okay, but in this, basically, it the needle separates out into different points. This is a five round liner needle. So basically, I'm assuming that it has five needles inside of it. So it's like a normal tattoo needle, if you've ever actually gotten a tattoo. If the next thing you get is you get a half ounce bottle of ink. This ink is a vegan and it, obviously it's normal tattoo ink. So people who are vegan or vegetarian or people who don't want to use products that um, test on animals, this product that comes in the kit and this tattoo ink is 100% vegan, which is really awesome actually. So with the basic kit, you do get the black ink, which is vegan. All of their inks are vegan actually. All of the colors you can get because technically if you buy a different kit, you can add on other colors into your kit um, at an extra cost, obviously. The other colors you can get are purple, gray, green, sour apple, navy, yellow, gold, teal, blue, white deco pink which on the website looks like a very soft neutral undertoned pink but really um it's like kind of like a hot pink um but it has almost like an orange undertone to it and then there's orange pussy red cherry brown and black so you also get in the basic kit you get one mini glass ink jar. So everything is separated in here in like little wax um, baggies. A mini little glass jar, it is tiny, the size of the top of my pinky. But um, you get a tiny mini glass jar that you can get rid of after you use it because you don't want to reuse the ink that you put in here because you're poking the needle in your skin and then putting it in here, so. Probably saving it and using it again would not be a safe idea. Um, you get one fiber blend cloth wipe. Cloth wipe is this thing. So everything is pre-packaged. 
um, as well as being completely sterile. Um, and then you also get one pair of gloves, which also come in this wax coated uh, baggie, just like a pair of black rubber gloves. Then you get one medical full surface covering, which is literally this thing. It's kind of like what you get in the dentist's office where they put like on your chest. It has like the shiny side on one side and then it literally has like the absorbent um, paper towel -y side on the other side. But it keeps you from setting things like on the ground or like on tables and stuff like that. It can be helpful so that you don't stain anything because that ink stains your skin so easily, so, so easily. So also just be wary of that. Um, then you get one sterile band-aid. You just get one like big old band-aid. Uh, this is about about the size of my hand. It's a pretty large band-aid. Um, you get one witch hazel, one witch hazel wipe, uh, which is right here. Then you get two alcohol pads. I think I used mine when I did my tattoo, so we're just gonna ignore that and act like I have one. It's basically just like those pre-moistened towelettes. And then you get one packet of aftercare, which is basically this hustle butter. That's what this is. But basically this is just like a really thick, like moisturizer. There's that for after. I mean, this is what it's called as a post-op sponge. But I'm assuming that this is the aftercare soaker pad. No, this definitely isn't it. I don't know. Uh, but you do get a post-op sponge, which probably is to soak up any extra ink, any extra blood, anything like that, pre-packaged, which is nice. And then you also get stencil sheets. So you get one stencil sheet that's like this, this which you can stencil on, and then you also get stencil transfer gel, which you put on the area that you want to apply the stencil on. Definitely is a lot more helpful than in my previous video when I said to use Sharpie. That definitely wasn't the safest move, but at the time it was all I had, and definitely this would be very, very helpful. Honestly, I think that this kit, for anyone who wants to stick and poke tattoos, is extremely well put together. I think that you definitely get a bang for your buck. A basic kit is $46 coming with one black ink. So the more inks you buy, it goes up in price. But the fact that they do have 16 different colors that you can choose from that are all vegan is awesome. It's extraordinary. I think that it's really cool that they have inks like this. Colors come out so bright and vibrant. Um, and it's all on www.stickandpoketattookit.com. I'm not being sponsored by them to say any of this. I will probably do a short tutorial for you guys on how to use this stuff. So I will just put that in after here. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Alrighty, my dudes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, especially since it was kind of a revamp of their videos, um, especially in a more sterilized way. I think that this way is much, much safer than the way I did it um, three years ago. I definitely would suggest buying this kit if you want to do stick and poke tattoos. <laughs> Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment any questions you have down below or any videos you'd like to see from me. And hit subscribe if you want to become part of my tiny little piece of the big wide world web and i will catch you dudes in the next video peace mm -hmm.